in this video we are going to be starting a new topic called array now what is an array now array is a group uh, of elements of the same type uh, of the same type stored uh, contingi contiguously in a memory and arrays are we can uh, look at them as data structures that consist of related data items of the same size uh, of the same type uh, basically of the same type uh, not rather size of the same type now also uh, arrays and another and uh, a uh, data entity called uh, struct uh, static entities uh, in that they remain the same size throughout their lifetime so we are will consequently uh, come to look at uh, struct but for now we are going to take a look at what arrays are and how we can uh, be making use of them in our C codes and this is an example of an array called uh, this is an array the name of the array is C and it has uh, it has five elements and uh, the first element is my negative 45 the second element is 6 the third element is 0 the fourth element is 72 and the fifth element is 1543 and we can see this this c0 is what we call the array index it shows the location of uh, of a particular element in that particular cell within the array so the first element c0 refers to the first element and you can see within c0 the uh, element that we have in that cell is negative 45 c1 is the second element uh, and then we have so i want you to note that is that the uh, the index of the last element is always uh, one number less than the size of the array uh, the size of the array is 5 the, the index of the last element you can see that it is 4 c4 all right so uh, now the next thing that we are going to do let's see uh, array in practice so what we are going to do now we are going to create a program that will uh, create an array of size 5 just like this but instead populate the arrays uh, with the number uh, 0 so we are going to create an array and then populate it with uh, zero as the element of the array and then print it out on the terminal for the user to see so now let's go to the, the our text editor our sublime text editor so i'm on the sublime text editor um, let me proceed to create a file so let me save this file i'm going to okay so not here uh, lecture so i'm going to name it uh, array one re onec uh, document uh, c programming c then i'm going to name it i'm going to name it re okay no sorry on the uh, lecture here this is where i group my file so re one dot c i'm going to save it so okay so now uh, re one to see the name of the file is re one dot c and uh, uh, create an array create an array of size five of size five I initialize it and initialize it and initialize it with uh, with zero values with zero as values with zero as values okay so let's proceed uh and then the first thing that we are going to do we have our hash uh defined our preprocessor directives hash include stdio.h standard input output header file stdio.h stdio.h I should define stdio stdio.h okay I should define all right for now let's go with this if we need more we will come and define them I should define okay sorry not I should define hash include and uh, this is hash define is for symbolic constant hash include so I didn't take off uh, okay hash include yes so hash include not hash define so then we have our function main int main void say end function main and function main so we end function main here and 
now next okay so we say we want to create an array i initialize it of size 5 so let me create an, my array of size 5 so ins mm, let me name it let me see if array is allowed let me array array 1 and then it's going to be of size 5 so here i create an array of size 5 create an array an array of integer elements of size 5 so basically what i'm doing i uh, created the data type i specify the data type within the array definition as int that means that it's going to contain uh, uh integer element and the name of the array is array one and the then we have what we, we have this uh square bracket we call it a square bracket now within the square bracket i wrote five in it that means five means the size of the array it means that this array is going to contain five element of integer data type of integer data type not plotting point number no and not any data type but integer data type so that is what line 10 is basically doing now the next thing we want to populate uh, the element uh, of this array with the value zero as we say so we say we uh, are array of size five initialize it with the value zero so i will I'm, I'm going to make use of a for loop to iterate through uh these uh cells within the array and insert zero in each of the five cells as we seen previously while we were defining uh, while we were looking at the definition of the array so i'm going to make use of my full control structure and four make a comment here and four so i'm going to go to the four and then i'm going to write size uh, size underscore t i equals to zero okay so uh, size t this is a new thing to us size t is an uh, integral uh, on sign integral type that has been defined in the c standard that this particular unsigned integral uh, type is ideal for, uh, for use to uh, to specify at the data type for array subscript for arrays uh, for array subscript so uh, since we are going to make use of i to den to donate array subscript that is the array index the array position as we see c z as we seen previously c0 c1 uh, c0 c1 c2 up to c4 as we, since we have a pipe element within this array so we are going to have c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 and now i is we are going to make use of i to represent that position starting from zero the first position then one the second position so uh, this size t has been uh, according to the c standard is an unsigned integral uh, type and it is best for use to represent array index and array uh and array, array size array index and array size but for the, in this case we are making use of it to represent uh array index so uh, uh okay so let's go uh let's continue so we have size t as a, ta a data type for i and i we are using i in this case for array index i want to say i uh, condition is i is less than uh, less than or equal to uh, five no less than or equals to four, four. Uh, because it's going to be starting from c0 c1 c2 c3 up to c4 since our size of our array is five and we are starting from zero and then we increment i by one okay so what do you want to do for this number of iterations we want to populate the array with the value zero so we are going to see array one and then i equals to zero zero okay so why am i using that zero okay so uh, uh i'm saying that now array the first element array one uh, uh, array 
i depending on what i is for the first time i is zero then i want to it uh i'm initializing it with the value uh zero okay sorry please yes i that was what i did previously it's not good uh, this is uh, this is an array so i say that the first element is going to be zero okay this is how we represent this is how we uh initialize an array this is how we initialize an array okay with a brace this type of bracket called brace so uh, this type of bracket called brace we need to initialize our array so i'm saying that array i is going to have the value zero okay and then next time i is zero next time i is one i is two i is three up to i is four all will be initialized with the value zero okay so that is what uh, just does this line of code has sufficed to initialize all the array uh, element with the value zero now next we want to print it out and next we print it out we print a header let's print a header uh, printing out a header uh, print a header print a header print a, printing a header uh, printing a header okay so that is what we are going to do now we want to print out a header so what we are going to print i want to print something like this we have a uh, element uh, element mm, element and then value okay this is what i want to print so i want to have it like uh the combustion uh uh combustion space buyer for string s to generate do this part this first string now next uh another something i want to make some little modification but let's go with it like this for now we have uh s uh for the first string and uh the uh, percentage sign s for the other string value which is value in this case so now next we want to print out the uh the element so now also uh remember we have populated all the array element with the value zero now let's also now iterate through the array and then print get access the element from the first element to that element and print it out on the screen so i'm going to make use of four also for control structure and four and four and four so i'm going to now assess the array uh, element so i'm going to print format okay so for the four i didn't do anything to the four so like we're here just the same something here just copy this one here so once we are assessing the array element so I'll paste it here so I'll just come here and then now i want to assess the first element now the first element uh the first element i'm going to print uh i'm going to print out uh i to donate the position of the element zero element zero element one element two element uh, then the value okay then the value then the value is going to be uh, re i i okay so it's going to so the, for the first one is the uh, index the position of the uh, element or so instead of element why won't we have index instead or index and then value all right so for the first one this is an i uh, so i'm going to make use of d this is a uh, not d this is not a decimal integer so for size t we make use of this combustion uh, space pi as zu so for data type size t we make use of zu at the combustion space pi uh, i then we have the uh, are the element proper the that one since that is an integer we make use of the decimal uh, combustion space space, space pair all right and then we get it printed out okay do the printed out we will really leave any space here the printout is going to be congested in one place but we are going to see that also here after index value let's print a new line so I have a new line here and also here after printing each element let's have a new line also here 
okay so now let's uh, go and compile there's some little modification we need to do especially here in the printout in the printout in the print format but uh, let's see so that you appreciate what we the little modification that we are going to do to it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go and compile it if there's any error we'll come over and fix the error so I have this let me clear the terminal here so uh, cd dash dash uh, lecture so uh, here we are so uh we have a uh, gcc my gcc compiler re uh, one let's see i want to output it as re all right so expected expression before talking uh expected uh, expected expression in function main re uh, and why we have this before dash talking all right let me go and see where the error is line number 14 is that we don't need this sorry there's a time for this also with there's a way uh, when we do by doing this by adding this brace is that we can do this to specify uh to do an implicit uh initialization of all the array element with the value uh zero in this case uh, i say array i uh equals to zero that means that the first element is going to be initialized with the value zero and since we uh if we do if we did not provide uh element for the other uh, position within the array then they are going to be implicitly initialized with the value zero so that is when we make use of this uh break this type of initialization like this but since we are just we want to initialize i, I want to iteratively initialize all the element with the value zero this is the way we do it that is why we're having that particular arrow there so uh let me clear the terminal uh -huh. so our program has successfully confined now uh, let's run it and see re1 and run it uh re1 that's the no such file or directory uh re okay so i compile it as re it's not re1 so re also this is the way we do it Array. so as we can see we have our uh, printout but as we can see it is uh, compacted there's no any spacing so let's have a way to space uh, this thing out now uh, let me go to the uh, file and let's see how we can fix that so uh, um, for the first index uh you know that it's going to be printed out starting from the left hand side of our terminal yeah, that is the index this particular uh, string here now and then immediately where this index uh end then the next particular printout string is going to continue now let's leave some space uh let's count how many position do this particular uh, this particular string has how many uh characters one two three four five now if i space five five still it is going to occupy immediately after the index now i, I can space by additional uh, uh uh additional character space uh so that now if i say something what i mean is that if i instead of space five five let me say eight or nine or ten so that three uh character spaces will be left it is going to start from the right hand side so the value the word value is going to start printing out from the uh, right hand side so that we have some space immediately after the index uh, let's go and see it let's compile this and uh, compile this and see so i'm going to compile this and then when we run it as we did before as you can see we have this so likewise also for the element let's also add uh, eight space so we'll just come to the uh, also here uh, percentage D so let's have some uh, space before printing uh, this but the element the value the value rather so printing the value here on the screen let's have some space so that it's going to be uh, at the where the value is so now i'm going to recompile it and then run it and see so as we can see uh we have it but if we want it to be printed out uh by the 
by the uh, left uh, that is uh, at the extreme end here we can add the number of uh, spaces let me see how many spaces are here one uh, two three four okay so eight nine ten eleven twelve let me add uh, this as uh, the length the field length of this particular something to be 12 so it is 12 let's see how the output is going to be uh, gonna recompile this and then so as we can see we have it this way so you can choose you can either choose to do it the fourth way or this other second way by adding the field length we can refer to that at the field length so the field length has been specified as 12 and it starts from the uh from the uh from the right hand side and then it counts up to 12. so if we count up to here from this particular uh value here the the actual zero here to this is 12 we're starting from the right hand side Okay, so this is the way we go about formatting and alternatively we can make use of the uh, of the escape sequence for the tab that is backward slash t which will also create a tab it's a tab a tab space to space out the uh, printout so uh, that is the end of this lecture thank you for taking your time to watch this video